What's that mean? What? Are DJ's we? pointing at us. Oh, did he give us the countdown to three, two, one, and then? No, he just pointed. He just pointed. He's supposed <coughs> to do the countdown and go three, two, one, and then hit it. I don't so, think he knows. Oh, uh, so, so what are we at? We're at February sixth, twenty twenty-three. We're out here at the winery again. Uh, we don't have to worry about the dog coming into play on this one. So. People like mouse showing yeah. up in our videos. Yeah. So, um, this past weekend we had the opportunity to drive uh, up to Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Did I say it right, Wisconsin, <coughs> DJ? No. Anyhow, we we crossed the river there at Prairie du Chien, and then we went north um, up to forever. Forever. No, we went up to uh, El Maro uh, Winery. Um, it's kind of right across the river river from uh, Winona. Winona State University, which is in Minnesota. Winona. Uh, yeah, it's in Minona, Minona State. Winona. Win Minona. No, it's in Winona. Winona? Yeah. Okay, Minona, <laughs> whatever. Mana, mana. So anyhow, we, we got up there, but on the way up, we stopped at a, uh, a winery before we got to... Uh, um, what do you call I don't it? remember this city that uh, Tem Templo. Plo, yeah, Plo, something like that. So, Tem hello, Templo. Maybe that's it. <clears throat> but uh, the the first one we stopped, it was kind of off the beaten path in that. And yeah, he, we just saw a sign, so we're like, yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go see it, and then we drove up to it, and um, he had mainly sweeter wines and stuff. Um, fruit, fruit, a lot fruit wines. Of fruit wine. Made made out of apples or different types of berries and stuff like that. So, um, which was interesting to see. So, he did. He he was trying to do organic, which which was um, for anyone in the industry, you know how difficult that is. So his alcohol levels tended to be a lot higher because um, that'll kill off everything. Yeah, because I and think he was up that. to what was he like up to uh, eighteen. Well. Somebody, somebody else was there who was in Iowa Winery and got to talk to them a little bit, and they said that his are sixteen and up. Yeah. So I mean, that's so he's high he's getting high enough wine. up there; he doesn't have to worry about. Uh, it's almost like a, a port style wine or a dessert yeah. style wine. And so. again, I didn't look at all of them yeah. to see. We we did buy a Saint Croix. Yeah. Um, um, dessert. But uh, but yeah, it was interesting to listen to him what he does. Um, how he produces it and stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, he does say that uh, during the peak time of, uh, what do you call that, leaf season, they get very busy up there, so. Yeah, every winery we went to said they get swamped. Yeah. So it's a big, big draw is people to go up and see. Yeah, them. but then we uh, left there and then we headed north again. Um, it was what, not quite an hour from where that was at. And that was where El Maro, am I saying it right? Yep, El Maro. El Maro. Which the, is named after it, Elaine. The kids, I think, wasn't Mark. it? The people involved with the winery. I think it's the original yeah. family. So, so if you've ever watched the, <clears throat> the movie, and you've probably heard us talk about it, uh, Wine Diamonds. Mm -hmm. They are featured in, uh, they're one of the wineries in Wine Diamonds. They talk about how he farmed. Uh, she was a master plumber. Um, and then how they basically decided that this is what they're going to do and they figured it out that if they're going to make wine they have to make a lot of wine or yeah that was I think one of the got to grow a lot of grapes a lot of to grapes. support three families and that's what they're doing today yeah so he basically um, he switched out the farm equipment for vineyard equipment and tanks and stuff like that for the winery and um, they make some really good wines uh, they make Probably I was shocked. Yeah. It would make amazing. I shouldn't, I don't want anybody to take that the wrong way, but it was amazing wine. It yeah. Was it was just very, 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 very good wine. Yes. Um, the, I would the, highly recommend The, the clarity of the whites, the <clears throat> smell that you got, the nose, the, 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 the fragrances that you got from the whites um, were just spectacular, I would say. So. Yeah. And what was fun was they weren't, weren't swamped because of the time of year. So we got to talk to basically the general manager, that's what I would call her, Yeah. Um, Sandra, who sat and talked to us for a long time about yeah. what they do and how they do it. And 
And then the, the winemaker, who is the daughter, came in to pick something up and stopped and sat down and talked to us for probably 10 minutes. So that was really nice. That's, yeah. that's the fun part of <clears throat> going to visit really small wineries. I shouldn't say really small, but smaller wineries and um, being a winemaker on top of it. It kind of yeah. gets you in a little bit more, but you know, if, you're, if you go to California, it's not unusual for the winemaker to come out and sit with you. Yeah. So, and it's just pretty cool to, and to it's, hear it, the process, to hear the story. And, and, and the different things fun. that they're doing and what, they, what they've coming <clears throat> up with and that. So, um, but then, then we went and we stayed in Winona. There you go. I got it right that time. <laughs> and then the next day when we got up to come home, which DJ was shaking his head. Saturday, Saturday <laughs> morning, um, we headed to, we wanted to go see a couple of other ones. We went to Baraboo, Wisconsin, so we crossed back over the river. Um, we first stopped at something vintage. Jordan. Was it? No, Vernon. Vernon Vernon Vineyards. Vernon but, Vineyards. but they were closed. Yeah, they didn't And open. happened to pass by another one. Yeah. that was closed so the season some yeah, of it season, is the season some of it yeah is. they're shut down because the the tourism and stuff yeah. is not there <clears throat> some of it was the time of day so but they were bigger vineyards um, they were giant yeah, and so then the thing pictures. that i noticed too was is the the trunks on the vines were good size too so these were well established vineyards that have been around for some time and that too so um, one of the things we did notice is, and we talked with dj about it was is the one tractor had the sprayer still on it but it was a bigger size cab tractor. I'm going to say at least a 90 to 100 horse tractor that they were using. I think he's selling now. That's what he's selling. No, I'm saying that his rows were <laughs> wide enough that, hey, that they can get through. Lee just walked in, yeah. so he's going to have to be on camera now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting ready to go live. Oh, we, we are, are live. live. Oh, you are <laughs> DJ, get him a glass and let him taste that. Yeah. What is it? <clears throat> So this is, so we went up north and visited a couple wineries and what we're tasting tonight is Foch. It's a blush. Yeah, they made it. It's a Foch Rosé. Yeah. So interesting. So that's, that's what we were after. We're different things, what people are doing. So and, and, and and they, they, were, they were able to make it basically as, um, uh, this is one that they, they will hand pick to get it. And that way, they can control when they press or crush and destem it and get it pressed right away just to get that that light rosé color that you get on that so but uh um yeah they they had a couple of the wineries that we did go through they had uh <clears throat> the Foch, the frontenac the petite pearl uh grapes that we grow down here uh uh they had saint pepin uh yeah. that was really good Dry, um, mostly dry. Yeah, and little, that that was encouraging. Semi sweet. Yeah. Some sweet. I mean, it, just it, like us, just some. Yeah, and it was encouraging so it was that that their <clears throat> their semi sweets weren't over the top and stuff. So, um, this one's a semi sweet. So it's got a little sweetness to it. It's not not bad. Do not you bad. think, Lee? No, it's not. <clears throat> I think your version was better. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, that's because we'll we'll get grapes from over at Ron's. So. Yes. Yeah. Um, but that's it's something that it's something different that uh, we haven't tried with our uh, and we've talked about it before is trying to make a rosé out of some of our red red grapes, um, or make a white wine out of because you can do a clear pinot noir. Yeah, if okay. you press it or you press crush it and right crush away. into stem yep. and press it right away, get it off the skin so it has very little contact yep. with. We yeah. just got a call. Sorry about that. Hopefully we're still there. So. <laughs> But uh, but that's different things that you can do, and we'd like to try it. And this might be the year that we do it. Um, mm -hmm. Just try something out of the norm with with the grapes and see what we. We always think that, but it's always we're too tired. Yeah. <laughs> but it comes right down to it. So. so but the the purpose of the trip was to look at what everybody else is doing and see what, who we want to be. Yeah. And find different things like this. Yeah. And there were a couple different things we found that. Like, hmm, we should try this. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. And if you're, as long as you get a nice <clears throat> pill to sleep on, your neck don't, you wake up and you yeah, can't move I can't your head. Yeah, his head today. So, yeah. I was at the chiropractor this morning. Yeah, the pillow that I slept on up there was not comfortable. So, yeah. but anyhow, we went to Wollersheim's was the second winery that we Giant went to. 
Saturday on um, Saturday. Um, and that's up there by uh, the Dells, Wisconsin Dells or Madison area. So it's not that far of a road trip. If you're looking for a nice, what I'm going to call, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, California style winery. I wouldn't say so. Set up. With uh, the looks, you go in. Oh, the looks, yeah. You've got outside, you've, you've got the cave, um, and the setup with the, the the vines up on the bluff, so to speak, and then the the entry of going into the winery itself. It is it is pretty impressive yeah. when you see it. It, it is, it, but there's no personalized. There's it's not personalized at all. Well, you don't have the the, vi the vineyard out there. So and they and they were they're busy. <clears throat> they had quite a few people in there when we were in there. Um, but then the, the downside to that is is they, they have a distillery and if you couldn't get in for your tasting, you had to go over and try their, their spirits. So, How was the downside? Well, I would say it was, yeah. I was being <laughs> sarcastic. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go over and they just started a distillery up there, which we're starting to see, I think more wineries are, are dabbing into the distilling aspect yeah. of it, so. Um, so I, I think that may be a, a, a thing to come with the distilleries and the wineries hooked together. DJ shaking, his, shaking his head that that's what he wants to do. So, But uh, we're supposed to have bottles come in this week. Hopefully, I was hoping Wednesday. that they would be in today, um, but they weren't. So now Wednesday, they're supposed to be coming in. Yep. Um, so if Lee said he, he would help you push yeah, them in. The All right. Yeah. There you go. <clears throat> so make sure she don't drop the whole pallet over or something. So, so we have We're moved things. We have moved things it. around in here. Um, yeah. The other thing you guys seen, I was over in Anamosa today. Um, yes, I was looking to see what was open, but on the other hand, uh, I brought a bottle of our uh, petite over there, and I actually tried it with uh, Tony and. You were uh, drinking with Tony and Brandon. Then. Yeah. Well, Tony had a sip, so. <laughs> But Brandon, and it was very interesting just to hear the comments that he was picking out from it. Now, it's been, what, three weeks since we bottled that deed? I think it's about three weeks. So I wasn't sure um, what we were going to get for taste, um, what it was, or how it was going to come out. But it's, it's progressing really nicely. Uh, you opened it up. Um, we let it set a little bit. You did pick up the notes of the like a plum or the the, 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 the notes from the petite itself, but you're also kind of getting like maybe like a, a peppery, I don't want to say spicy type of a note from the, the barrel itself. Um, he was thinking that it was a American oak, but I told him it's a hybrid style oak barrel that we used with uh, American heads that are toasted at a medium plus, which is a little heavier toast for the, the medium stuff. But it was tasting really good, but the longer it sat in the glass, uh, we had maybe a half a bottle at most. Um, but uh, the longer it sat in the glass, it really opened up and you're picking up some of the other berry notes and stuff coming through on it. So, um, and it's got us both uh, enthused about it and that, because I says, this is just three weeks into it, that I says, you wait uh, three months from now, it's gonna taste completely different. Uh, not completely different, but a lot different from what it tasted today, um, as opposed to waiting a year from now with that. So um, the suggestion somebody made to us uh, years ago, it might have even been Tim had said that, is to buy a couple of bottles. If you like one bottle, you buy it, but you buy two or three of them that, if they're younger. He did. Yeah. And you drink one <clears throat> like now, have one six months later, have one a year later, and see how that wine progresses in taste the longer it sets in that bottle. And it's kind of a unique thing to uh, compare it to in that. So the wine is growing, it is aging, it is maturing in the bottle even after you uh, put it there and cork it. So, which is always kind of interesting to me. So, mm -hmm. but uh, other than that, do you got anything to add? I did, no, after that story, no. Oh, I'm just kind of babbling on. So. <laughs> but maybe no, I, maybe you, I should go no way. have a, have wine no with a, uh, Brandon more often. I'm a little maybe. more talkative now. Maybe. So yeah, that, yeah. No. But all uh, right, we we're gonna let him go, and we'll uh, talk next week when this is filled we'll filled up with here. bottles. Maybe maybe this can be packed. Yeah. Maybe we do because it'll be packed. Yeah. So. 
it will a bottleneck. Be a bottleneck. A bottleneck. That's, That's nice. That's a good one, Lee. So. All right. Have a great week. We will uh, see you next Monday.